Hello and welcome. Holly Miami yet again reporting on another wonderful event. Hereford River Carnival held on the Saturday of the August Bank Holiday. Now we were determined to get out and about all over the August Bank Holiday this year because of the significance it holds to me. I chose to do this one because I lived in Hereford some years ago and the River Wye that the carnival was held on was just behind where I used to live, so quite poignant for me at the time. What I love about this event was the complete spread of different ideas. There wasn't so much a particular theme, there was numerous themes. Musically, for example, there was the Barber stage, which you could class as the main stage. There was a Busker stage. There was the what they called the Weird Shire stage encompassing traditional folk music. There was groups of musicians and singers just dotted around the field. Uh, stick to mind the lower deckers who were singing their sea shanty songs just on a corner of the field as you walk by. Now the whole event was spread out over numerous different sites sitting either side of the River Wye. So there was Castle Green, there was Bishop's Meadow, there was King George V playing fields, and all sorts of things were planned for all of these areas. There was a parade through the city centre. Now, you know what we're like for parades. We just had to have some of that. I can remember when I lived in Hereford nearly 40 years ago, I used to walk to work every day. I worked in a shop in the city centre. So I used to sit down in what was called High Town, still is called High Town, and ponder life before I went to work. What an absolute joy nearly 40 years later to be armed with all the Miami Media camera kit filming the most colourful, joyful parade you could possibly imagine right through the same city centre. Lovely, lovely event. A particular standout for me was just before the parade set off from, um, from Castle Green, they had a guy on stage doing a Bangra workshop. Now, you wouldn't have thought this was particularly conducive with the genteel folk of Hereford. What it did do, it whipped everybody up. Now, Bangra dancing is quite simple to do. And it whipped everybody up into the mood. So by the time the parade set off, everybody was rearing for it. Stroke of genius, whoever pulled that one out of the bag. So take a look at the film. Follow us through as so we'll do the uh, our normal procedure of taking a wander around to start off with. Then we'll trace the parade through the city centre of Hereford and back to the uh, show site. And then obviously the different musical things that happened afterwards. Take a look at the film and just, just enjoy everybody's absolute joy in being part. Take you 
Knowing all the river is that you'll never learn from the charts. Well, I do remember way up the top the mast. And now the skipper and that young nipper will take the river to heart. Oh, we load it down with bells so high. You've got to lean backwards if you want to see the sky. Oh, the Thames may forgive us, but the old never will. So I salute, keep your head, please run. Do your way, build your pipe, grab on tight, look for the lights and away we sail. Okay, um, we're going to sing you a song. <laughs> My not sure if it's appropriate or not. It's about shipwreck. It's about the most famous shipwreck ever. Does anybody know what it was? Shout it out. Titanic. The Titanic. The Titanic. Okay. This, yeah. this was song uh, written in 1938 about the sinking of the Titanic. It's called God Moves on the Water. And Gaynor's going to sing it for us. <laughs> God moves on the water.
Doctor's funny, pinching son of man. He's all talk and feelings. You to rest on the race coming up by Mar Street. When I turn around, light a cigarette. Wish I had the guts to bum one, but we never met. And I hope that I don't fall in love with you.
do you think of that then? What about the drums made out of plastic barrels? Talk about grab something and turn it into something useful. We love that to bits. And where we were filming through the city centre, I tried to encompass a lot of the major landmarks like Hereford Cathedral and the other landmarks in the city centre that the parade going by to give some sort of context to it. So if you were in the parade, you will have been filmed numerous times because I was able to do at least two crowd splits uh, and all sorts of stuff. Absolute, absolute joy. So join with us now as we take a wander around and see the sort of musical delights that were on offer. <laughs>
second band now. We're on the final furlong. Put your hands together, please. Make a big river carnival noise for Los Dedos. So there you go folks, Hereford River Carnival 2022, oh you can certainly bet we're going to be back to that one next year, we love that to bits, what a lovely, lovely, well organised event, power to everybody who did so. Now as you're aware, Miami Media have been going out filming numerous different events right throughout this summer and if you want to see what we've been doing, what we've been filming, we've got a website. And we've got our Facebook page. Drop onto either of those two to see where we've been. And more to the point, the website has got a calendar showing just where we are going for the rest of this season. We've probably got another month now worth of events that we have to cover. And there's lots of stuff. So if we are anywhere near you, come along and say hi. So for now, it just remains for me, Holly Miami, to wish you all the best and to simply say bye-bye.